So desk setup videos are some of those videos on the internet that I love watching. So I figured, why not film my own? Well, if you guys have seen my videos in the past, then you guys will know that I am here in college in a dorm, so I don't exactly have the most elaborate setup. So first, I'm going to be showing my desk setup, and then shortly after, I'm going to be showing you guys a much nicer setup, someone who actually knows what they're doing when it comes to music production. But first, we're going to start with mine. So let's start off with the desk. The desk is just the desk that comes with the dorm. It is provided by the college. I don't know what model it is, nor would I really go out of my way to buy it if I did. Uh, again. Just a desk, nothing special. It's big enough to fit what I need on it, and unfortunately there is no drawers or anything like that, like the one in my last dorm room last year, but it's okay. I love to be at my desk with my feet elevated, so right here I have this ottoman, and inside I just have useful stuff like guitar tools, extra notebooks, paper, pencils, etc. And the PC that is powering the whole thing is this PC that I've built over the last couple years. I just added new parts, upgraded things over the last, you know, it's, a, it's an always, always evolving project. If you guys don't know anything about computers, that's totally cool. So I'll just go over the specs real quick. I have the RTX 3080 and the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X uh, processor. And I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's basically the main specs of the computer. But this is all wrapped up inside the Corsair carbide case, which I do not have the side panel on because it makes it too dark and I like being able to see my PC. So the main function of this desk setup here is basically where I learn guitar. I do homework here as well, but like I just said, if I want to learn a song, I'll throw up the tabs right here and I'll sit in this chair with this foot elevated and I'll play guitar. For my main monitor, I believe this is a 32 inch Samsung monitor. It gets the job done. It is. It's 4K, but it's not a great looking monitor. It's definitely a cheap panel. Wouldn't really recommend it, but it gets the job done for what I use it for. And to the left, the secondary monitor is this TCL Roku Smart TV. Again, it's not a monitor, so it kind of gets cut off at the edges here, which is a little bit annoying, but like I said, this is the secondary monitor. I mainly just use this for YouTube or just other stuff while I'm either playing video games or editing or something like that, just so I can have music on the side. Over here, we have my dressers, which I keep all of my clothes in. It opens that way towards the closet, but this is obviously where I have the secondary monitor as well as I'll keep my notebooks here. I'll keep some other stuff here, but... Right now, I only have a pick and this handy-dandy little guitar tool they got at Guitar Center. It has basically all of the tools you pretty much need for guitar. All the side, common used Allen wrenches. Uh, you got a truss rod adjuster right here. This is a really good neat tool. Highly recommend. If I can find one, I'll put it in the description below. For the peripherals, I have the Logitech G613 keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard, and it gets the job done. I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have any backlighting. So using it at nighttime can be a little bit more frustrating than it should be, but it's not the end of the world. For my mouse, I absolutely love this Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. I had the 1S, gave it to my dad, and got the 2S. But if you guys do any kind of productivity, any kind of video editing, anything like that, this is a great mouse. I love the fast scroll feature. So like it's basically normal there, and then you flick it, and then it scrolls super fast. You'd be surprised at how often I use that. The scroll wheel on the side is super useful for video editing because you're able to scroll through a timeline, as well as the up and down buttons right here, which I use to quickly adjust the volume. I highly recommend the Logic MS Master mouse if you guys are looking to get a new one. Now the peripherals are on this very old and disgusting mouse pad that I need to get replaced. The sound bar I have here is from a brand called Tilted, and honestly, for 50 bucks, this is a great sound bar. It does exactly what it needed to do. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Well, it doesn't come in a bunch of different colors, but it comes in black and white, but it has a bunch of RGB settings you can have. This it can connect to Bluetooth. Like I said, it's a sound bar, so connect to your computer. It does a great job, and for 50 bucks, I don't really think there's many things better than it. On top of my Positive Red Spark amp, I have this Utech wireless charger, which I use to charge my phone. And right below the wireless charger, we have the Posigrid Spark amp, which is honestly the best practice amp I've ever had. It's perfect for a dorm room because if you need to play quietly, it can get pretty quiet, as well as as a headphone jack, meaning you can play completely silently other than the noise of your guitar, because all the audio is going straight to your ears. As well as it can also get pretty loud if you need it to. And if you guys don't know what this amp is, you really got to check it out. I have a video on my channel, which I'll link down below. But basically, it's just an amp that you can connect to an app where there's tons and tons and tons of different presets in which you can connect your guitar to. And you can basically look up a song, and if you like the guitar tone of that song, you can find it and then use that similar guitar tone with your guitar. It's really neat. And if you guys are curious about what guitars I have here on campus, I have my Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s Gold Top with the P90s, of course. Below that, I have my red Gibson SG. Over here, I have my 1987 Kramer F6000. Been playing this thing a ton. And over here in my closet, I have the case for the Les Paul Standard. And over here, I have my 1979 Gibson Les Paul Custom. A pretty fun video is going to be coming out relatively soon about this guitar here. But that basically concludes my very basic dorm setup. Let me show you one that's a little bit cooler.
Alrighty, this is Ronan. Of course, he's been on the channel a couple times, so go ahead and introduce yourself for those who are new. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Ronan. Uh, I'm a musician, and I go by the name of Rojo. R-O-E-J-O-E. -E. Yeah, so I got a new song. Um, it's coming out next week, uh, December 7th, I believe. The name is uh, Oh, I Wish I Was Him. It's gonna be a fun little like indie pop song, and I also have uh, one that I just dropped a few weeks called called Because Sometimes with my friend uh, Eric. So if you're into rock, indie, stuff like that, go ahead and check those out. Of course, they're going to be right down in the description below. Go ahead and show my man some support because he really deserves it. Absolutely. Appreciate it. So now let's just get started with the tour. Alrighty. So here's the little main station again. Um, I know you guys, the viewers of the previous video, got a, like, a little peek of these, but I'll, I'm going to go a little more in depth on them. Here is my... My little prized possession. This is uh, one of the first big pieces of equipment I got. This is the Archeria Keylab 61. It's the essential uh, version. It came with a lot of extra downloadable VSTs, but basically it's your MIDI keyboard. It has drum pad controls here and transport controls for FL Studio, Logic, and other DAWs that you would use. And then it has some effects that you can um, mess with with its partnering VSTs that it came with, uh, the, the Analog Lab series. Four and five are awesome and I use it all the time in my music. I like this design as well because it has kind of the all white with the little brown uh, wood accent on the side. I thought it looked really, really cool so I went with that one. And then if you look under it, we can go ahead and slide it out real quick. Here we have the uh, Pioneer DDJ 400. Um, this was a little gift to me. I've DJed all through high school with my brother where we started a little bit of a company and uh, I like the DJ, I love house music, EDM, all stuff like that. So this is a nice little toy for me on the side. And then if you look here, I have two Affinity Sterling monitors. These are pretty old. They're actually from 2002. They were bookshelf speakers that my dad bought a long time ago. I went and got them fixed up and tuned. So they sound really good. And I like to have a little bit of a vintage kick when I'm mixing. So these are perfect, flat sound. So that's also good. I replaced uh, the cones here and uh, replaced this tweeter here. So it definitely needed some work, but was worth the while and fun little projects I could work on. And they're connected to this old Technics. Here, I can kind of... So this is a Technics synthesizer uh, stereo receiver. It also has radio components and you can connect up a turntable to it. It's actually from the 80s. I can't remember which year exactly, but I think it's 82 or 83. So this is also an old, old pickup that I had. Really fun. I plan on getting a turntable, a new one soon so I can play all my records. And then if you look up here, we have just your average keyboard. It's a Red Dragon. This was kind of the lower end ones, but I wanted something a little flashy um, just to add to the overall aesthetic of the desk. And then up top here, we have one of the most expensive pieces of equipment I have. This is the Yamaha MG10XU. Uh, it's a mixing console. I bought it last year, I believe at around $350. So it's a little higher end, perfect for all of my mixing needs when it comes to recording anything live. It also has a USB connection in the back. That way I can connect it up to my computer. It makes that recording process so much easier. Now, if you know anything about music, live sound, you're a musician, or you just like to know more about music, you'll probably have seen one of these. You've probably heard of them. It's the Shure SM58. It's almost exactly the same as the Shure SM57, and they're some of the most reliable microphones you'll ever come across and they're used everywhere. If you look at the inside here, this is kind of what an SM57 looks like. I, you'll hear stories of people throwing these in lakes or leaving them in their truck bed for an entire winter and they sound better when it comes out. So, $100, the best microphone you'll ever buy. And then you'll come over here. This one was a little bit more of a, uh, a pricey pick, but it was one that definitely was worth the while. This is an AKG P220. I have a little, uh, foam cover over it from my plosives, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got a nice steel cage, a large diaphragm here. So this microphone is really good for getting crisp higher end and a good overall sound for stuff like strings, but mostly vocals. This is what I record all my vocals in with my music. And it has just too many dials here for a low range cutoff. And uh, a, you would call a, a sound pad, which is basically um, if you're recording anything super loud, say you're putting this right in front of a guitar, uh, an amplifier, it's just gonna like bash your diaphragm. So you're gonna wanna put a little pad on there that way. Um, it gives it a little extra room to, to pick up sound 
without it distorting too much. Okay, and this is my PC. This one was a fun little project. I actually built it because I really wanted to beef up the music process. There's just so much going on um, that you kind of need a beefy computer for it. Some of the specs for this one, the nicest thing I have in there is probably my Intel 9th gen core processor. It's i9. I got that basically so that I can run those larger music projects um, with FL Studio and I, I can even run Avid Pro Tools which if you make music you know it's not a very it's not a helpful uh, program at all it uses up a lot of your CPU and I also put a decent graphics card in there I put a a, a 1080 Ti older one but reliable so I like to play uh, some video games as well with the friends back home we're gonna stay in that. touch I like Rocket League a lot I play Rocket League a lot because uh, uh, my my brothers play it and my friends back home, so it's a nice way for us to stay in touch. Thank you. So I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what guitars are in the room right now. It varies a lot just depending on who is in and out of this dorm, but right now there is only two, both of which being Ronin's. Right here we have a nice Squire Jazzmaster. It just got back from the shop, had some work done to it before. There are dead frets, and it was just not the best quality instrument from Squire, what they normally produce, but now that it's back from the shop, the frets have been redressed. It's a fantastic playing instrument. And over here we have the Epiford Hummingbird. Epiford? Epiford. <laughs> and over here we have the Epiphone Hummingbird Pro electric acoustic guitar, and this is a guitar that I used for the Yggdrasil acoustic cover. It's a guitar that treats me very well, treats him very well. It's a nice budget acoustic, fantastic for the price. If you guys are ever in the budget for, or in the market for a nicer, less expensive uh, acoustic guitar, definitely check out these Epiphone, Epiphone, Epi call it again, the Epiphone Hummingbird Pro. So this right here is Ronan's setup. Obviously he knows a lot more about all of this stuff, but for what limited space we have here in college in these little dorm rooms, he definitely finds a way to maximize all the space he has. So thank you so much, Ronan, for helping us out with this video. Of course, you have a great setup, and I'm sure that people will love it. So again, thank you, Ronan, for helping me out with this video. And if you guys liked it, feel free to click like. And if you loved it and you want to see more content from me, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.